All right, so we just got some interesting news that was recently revealed uh, about the One Punch Man video game, A Hero Nobody Knows, that's going to be released next month, actually. Let me also say that this info uh, was revealed by the YouTuber Sergio M3, and then I found out about that through Bilbzy. Uh, check both of these guys out. Uh, I like both of these guys' channels, and they are doing us a service uh, revealing this info to us. I'll have the links to their videos in the description. But we're going to be getting into the full roster of this game because apparently it's been data mined. And then the DLC, uh, which is the most surprising and most exciting to me here. So first of all, I'm sure you guys have seen like, uh, you know, most of the roster in this game so far. But just in case you haven't, here's like what we've known, uh, at least that's been on the surface. And I have issues with like some of the picks on this roster, like uh, Tank Top Black Hole and Tank Top Tiger. It's kind of a waste to have them in this game. Yeah, I know that they're kind of big elements of season one, at least in that one episode. And they're, you know, comedic, but having them as like full-blown characters in this game is just like arbitrary. I don't know. It just seems uh, a little unnecessary. But then also, uh, which was news to me, is that my mask is going to be in this game. And I really wonder how far they're going to push his character because we, at this point in season one, we've only seen him do like what just kill the uh the fodder monsters that came with boros's invasion so i'm really interested to see what they do with him but according to the recent data mine or should i say allegedly of course this isn't 100 confirmed but it's coming from a pretty reputable source so we're going to assume that this is true and it's now we know that the full roster includes purry purry prisoner snack Hammerhead, Crablante, and then finally Boros. So <laughs> I'm so relieved that Boros is actually going to be in the game. Now we saw him like in the promotional art for it. And that's what really got me excited because, you know, you saw him and Boros is one of my favorite characters. And I'm just really looking forward to playing with him. Probably he's the most I'm looking forward to with playing in this game. Just because he's probably going to be so crazy outrageous. Now I'm sure he's the final boss and you probably have to like unlock everybody before you unlock him. And that's fine. But aside from that, as I put in the title, we also got the DLC for this game released. And you probably guessed who was going to be included in the DLC. So it is going to be none other than Garo. Yes, Garo is going to be a part of the DLC, which I'm very thankful for. I did not expect him at all to be in the original uh, cut of this game because it mainly focuses on season one. And I'm sure this was in development way before season two uh, was released. So they weren't really focused on season two type characters. So it's fine. You know, we can just wait for Garo. Uh, I'm sure he's going to be awesome regardless. Then we got Lightning Max. He's cool. You know, he's also in season one. So they could have probably just replaced him with like Dang Top Black Hole or something. But that's fine. And then we got Sui Ryu. That is another awesome addition. One of the mainstays of season two. Uh, and then in, in this game, we could just have Garo versus Sui Ryu. And that, you know, could be our own little... A way to see them go at it, I guess. And then Watchdog Man. This is super interesting because Watchdog Man, even in season two, we only really see him do so much uh, against Garo. And while it is super impressive, he doesn't really, you know, push himself. We can assume that he's not really trying that hard to take out Garo. Uh, so it's it, just like with a My Mask, I'm really curious to see how far they're going to push Watchdog Man in this game, or they're just going to like basically just show surface level of what he's capable of doing like his ultimate move will probably just be what he does to garo like uh i'm sure they'll call it like a uh, handshake or something something like that and he just taps your hands or i i don't know i i'm curious to see how far they go with uh everyone really in the game especially the characters that we don't really know too much about um at least according to season one and season two but that's pretty much it uh, I know some of you guys have mixed feelings on this game, uh, according to like what the beta testing was like and everything. I think it's going to be good. Yeah, of course, I'm a One Punch Man stan, but I'm still going to give it an honest try. I'm going to be streaming it on the channel when it gets released next month. I'm going to play the hell out of it because uh, I've just been waiting for a One Punch Man game. And maybe it won't be a perfect game, but that's fine. I'm just happy that we got it at all, as long as it's not completely broken, but it doesn't look like it is. But that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think about uh, Garo in the DLC, Watchdog Man, Sui Ryu, and then Boros. How do you think uh, My Mask is going to go about in this game? Is he just going to be super surface level? Let me know. And if you like the video, guys, please give it a like.
access to a weekly Q&A. And if you haven't already, please subscribe as well. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.